Hello and welcome to UE Kids for You. So in our previous tutorial of ladder climbing tutorial series, we have set up this functionality to our character that when we press E keyboard, our character move into proper ladder climbing state and when we press W and S key, our character move up and down according to the input as you guys can see in this video and in this tutorial we will set up the proper animations for moving up and moving down so let's get started guys so first I'm gonna open my character blueprint and draw the set the draw debug type for each trace to none like so now let's check the result so we have proper moving up and moving down functionality so here is my required animation that I'm gonna use for this tutorial so this is my moving up animation from ladder now I'm gonna duplicate this animation and call this ladder move up underscore right hand and similarly I'm gonna duplicate this animation again and call this ladder move up underscore left hand so now I'm gonna open my ladder move up right hand animation and I'm gonna start it from zero frame and end this to frame 20 and delete all the frames above than the 20th frame I'm going to remove for remove 21 to 41 frame so here you guys can see I have proper right hand animation from moving up I'm going to save this and similarly I'm gonna open my left hand animation and start this from 20th frame I'm gonna remove 0 to 20th frame and here you guys can see I have my left hand animation from climbing a form ladder climbing So now let's open our animation blueprint. Here is our animation blueprint that we have set up in our previous tutorial. Here is the ladder functionality state machine. And here is the ladder idle state for when we when we are in idle state from ladder. I'm gonna grab both of my animation, ladder move up left hand and right hand and placing into my event graph like so so first I'm gonna open my character blueprint and over here when we press W if the trace hit is true and can move return true then we are gonna set a, a new variable and call this ladder move up we are gonna set this to true like so set this variable to true ladder move up and if trace is false then we're gonna set this to false 
here we have set up this variable to true and false for both of conditions now let's open our animation blueprint event graph here is our character blue, uh, character reference we're gonna search for ladder move up and create a variable over here call this ladder move up like so now from our ladder idle state we're gonna go to the right hand ladder move up right hand if the ladder move up variable is true and then we're gonna go to the ladder idle if our variable is false we're gonna go back to the ladder idle state if our ladder move up variable is false and we're gonna set time remaining ratio for ladder move up right hand if this is less than 0.2 then we're gonna go to the ladder idle state so now let's set the functionality over here so here you guys can see my character performed the proper move up animation from right hand and when I release the key my character stuck in this animation so so when we release the key we also need to set this variable to false ladder move up so that our character move back to the ladder idle state like here now let's check the functionality again so here you guys can see when i press w my character move up and when i press and w keyboard my character move up now let's set up the move up functionality for our left hand so now i'm gonna open my animation blueprint and from my ladder move up right hand to move up left hand and from move up left hand to back to right hand set these two transitions over here and from right hand to left hand I'm gonna set the condition if my ladder move up variable is true and the time remaining ratio for my animation is less than or equal to 0.2 like so if this condition is true we're gonna move we're gonna move to the left hand animation i'm gonna copy these nodes over here and from left hand to right hand same condition but instead of time remaining ratio for my right hand i'm gonna search time remaining ratio from my left hand and set this over here now let's check the functionality again so here you guys can see my character can perform pro both animations from right hand to left hand but my character is move only once move only one step when we press w keyboard my character move just one step to the ladder so we're gonna need to fix this 
for this I'm gonna I'm gonna select my ladder move up right hand animation state and create a enter state event over here and call this ladder move up underscore right hand and similarly select my ladder move up left hand animation and create a new enter state event ladder move up underscore left hand now I'm gonna open my event graph and over here search for these two events ladder move up right hand and ladder move up left hand So when these two events fires, I'm gonna grab my character reference. First, we're gonna set up this new custom event over here. I'm gonna create a new event. I'm gonna search for custom event over here and call this ladder move up ladder move up underscore event so when this event fires we're gonna need to we're gonna need to perform this functionality when we press W over here so when this event will be fired, this functionality is gone. Now in our animation blueprint, we're gonna get our character reference and first we're gonna need to place a branch over here and if our ladder move up variable is true in our both cases, then we're gonna search for ladder move up event and call this event like so now let's check the functionality again so here you guys can see when I press and hold W keyboard my character move up and perform both proper animation from my right hand to left hand and there is a sudden jerk over here when we start the animation so for removing this sudden jerk we will only need to set this move component to set this time to 0.6 instead of 0.5 and now let's set the functionality again so here you guys can see my character perform proper animation right with right and left hand so if I release the key from this animation we also need to set the set the state over here copy this and paste it over here if our ladder move is false then we're gonna move back to the ladder idle animation now let's search for time remaining ratio for left hand animation so here you guys can see I can properly move up with my both hand animations and when I release the key from moving up my character stops and stop and perform the proper climb animation with proper ladder steps so I hope you guys like this video and in our next tutorial we will set up the ladder to moving down functionality
same as we have done in this tutorial so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and also you can support me on patreon and gain access to all the project files and also you can communicate me over there so thank you guys